Well, in my tiny talk today, uh, I would like to give a tiny intro to something good to read. I'm going to call this the little man versus the last man. If we start with the proposition that every era is in danger of forgetting certain things, for instance, we don't always question the things that we like or take for granted, then from the actual love of democracy itself, we should try to train ourselves to resist the inborn tendencies of a democratic age. As we learn from Tocqueville, we should try to rectify the balance or, as he puts it, prop up the side on which we are most in danger of falling. For me, the self-scrutiny of liberal democracy is the centerpiece of a liberal political education. So that means to try to force ourselves to examine from as many sides as we can the strengths and weaknesses of our democracy. We can start this enterprise in a number of places, but I would like to start in a place of delight by mentioning two essays written in the 1970s by two of America's greatest authors, Ralph Ellison, the author of Invisible Man, and Robert Penn Warren, the author of All the King's Men. Ellison and Penn Warren were friends, and both of them believed that it was the highest task of the American artist to reflect on America's fundamental principles and practices. They were important essayists, essayists as well as novelists, and I, the two essays that I would like to introduce you to are called, first of all, from Ellison, The Little Man at Jiha Station, colon, The American Artist and His Audience, and from Robert Penn Warren, Democracy and Poetry. Uh, 1974 Jefferson Lecture. In his essay, Ralph Ellison considers the meaning of poetry broadly conceived for our understanding of democracy. Warren, for his part, considers the impact of democracy on the poet. Ellison sees poetry and the state of the arts generally in America primarily as an expression of our strengths. Warren sees poetry as the necessary antidote to our defects. Our long experience with efforts to betray American ideals notwithstanding, Ellison tends to emphasize American strengths, boundless possibilities for individual development, a vibrant cultural pluralism, and high ideals. For his part, Warren tends to emphasize the vulnerabilities of democracy, banal mass culture, consumerism, and the diminution of self. Ellison's metaphor for the upward pull on the self generated by American democracy is the little man. By contrast, Warren calls to mind Nietzsche's metaphor for democracy's downward drag on the soul, the last man. Together, Ellison's and Penn Warren's reflections present a comprehensive picture in the process decidedly advancing the self-criticism of American democracy that should be a part of the examined life as we live it. What's Warren worried about? He says that democracy tends toward a kind of self-affirmation that chokes off aspiration, as if we start out on a road convinced we've already arrived achieving what he calls redemption without tears. If man is already God, God and thus has no reason to improve himself, democratic education will tend, Warren thought, to bring everything around to the divine minimum. The antidote is poetry, not only its study, but the celebration of the poet and the teaching of the poet that he has a fundamentally important job to elevate society. Ellison, Ellison's little man, turns down the, or sorry, throws down the gauntlet at Nietzsche's last man, who he thought was the end product of democratic values. Um, a first year student uh, said when we were studying Nietzsche the other day, why can't we have a meritocracy in a democracy? Ellison would say, we can and do. There is a possibility 
there is nothing but possibility in democratic society. And for those who came to disbelieve in the possibility of, or the desirability of integration, Ellison replies, we have always had cultural integration and African Americans and other ethnic groups have been the co-creators of our hybrid culture. We simply have to learn to see them because sometimes they are invisible. And the little man whom he calls upon in his essay um, is meant to show us how to look. <laughs>